We're holding Be'ez Hashem Simon Kuf Ayin in Vayol Moshe, and we're talking still about this Gemara and Shabbos, Daf Kuf Lam Ches, that said that uh, there's going to come a time when the Torah will be forgotten, and it says that Loi Rav Lalechem, Veloi Tzam Alamayim, Kim Lishmoy Es Devar Hashem, the Yishoitetu, they'll wander around looking for it, Lubakish Es Devar Hashem, Veloi Im Sau. Okay? Yeah. So the Gemara Darshan, Dvar Hashem Zu Halacha, Dvar Hashem Zu Nevuah, Dvar Hashem Zu Akates. Those three things. So we explained so far what Halacha meant. Halacha meant that there'll be a forgetting of Halacha, which means it won't be completely forgotten. It means that there'll still be Torah and there'll still be Machlaikis, but that the question is that at that time we won't know how to pachten in Machlaikis because the usual rules of following the rabbi won't apply because maybe people are uh, influenced by external by sources. People. Right. And we don't know who to, uh, to follow. And the answer will be follow the previous generations. Now, it still remains to explain what's the other two things. Because the vua is already gone. Right. And, and the kingdom's gone even before the vua. We, know we never case. knew when the case was going to be. So Only Yaakov did, but he couldn't reveal it. He'll never reveal it. Umasha Amar Oi Dvar Hashem Zua Kates. This is that the Gemara Darshan is the Dvar Hashem means the Kates. But Vada She'en Kavanosai Al Hisgalus Zmana Kates. It doesn't mean that we're going to forget the revelation of the time of the end. Shazel Loi Haimi Oilam. That we never had to begin with. Avalzeh Havi Yadinan. Vada Choymer Ho Isser Shal Duchikas Akates. But rather it refers to the Isser of forcing the end. The Isser of the Shalash Fus. That was something that was always known. <laughs> and the Ad Hechel and Dvorim Magim, we always knew how how severe that uh, this there is. Leo is Nishmar Miket Shel Sheker, and how severe the, the danger is of a, a false Geula. Bechol Oifen Voifen, in any possible way, whether with Mashiach, without Mashiach. And Gam Yodu Asimon Maburim, and all the generations of Jews and past generations knew the signs of a true Geula. Hein Ladasa Rambam Bihilchoisav Shiev Shel Geula Bloy Tshuva. The Rambam in Hilchus Tshuva says that the Gula can't come unless this first Tshuva shall call Yisrael. Vehem ladas Maral shehu kedas roiv rishonim that the Maral on the Haggadah. Remember in Simon Mem Tes yeah. brought down there. Uh, or, oh yeah, we need to come first. Right. So uh, even if the Maral wasn't authentic, but a lot of other people said it too, he brought it down to Gemara. We yeah. stumbled the Gemara Mem, uh, Mem Gimel and Erevin. Gemara says that El Yo Hanavi will come before. Mashiach. There are other clear signs that, uh, by which to identify Mashiach. I don't want to go on about them at length because it's, going to, it's just going to take too long. He said it before. Right? And he said it before already. It's enough what I wrote already. So obviously... That's, that's talking about a Torah, like a person who claims to be Mashiach, and there's Simon and how to identify him. But obviously, if it's a, a, a Medina that has no Torah at all, and it's run, run by people who are um, trying to get Yidin to go off the derech of the Torah, uprooting of the whole Torah, on the contrary, such a Medina pushes away the case. And therefore, we have to run far away from such a thing. More than you run away from a lion, it's coming to kill him. And not on the opposite extreme to go and participate in it. To go and, 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 and give some chizik to them with uh, words like they do in the newspapers of. Uh, the religious Zionist newspapers, to think such a thought uh, that uh, that the Medina has helped Yidin, right? To think regarding that terrible tragedy that it's considered a, a good thing. And to think that it has some shaykhs to the, to the gula. Okay? It never occurred to any Yid in the past to make such a terrible mistake regarding the Geula. And that's what he means when it says, Devar Hashem Zua Kates, that something will be lost in that period of. of the sign of the Geula will be lost, something else is signed. Right, and people will lose that 
that uh, knowledge that they had in the past that people knew to, to reject the false case. Zulas be amen. It's only in our days. Ela. That the forgetting of the Torah has reached such a degree that people can make a mistake about such a clear thing. That's really an unbelievable thing. How could their eyes be so blinded? Hashem will be, make your, your, your makas uh, unfathomable. Uh, Unfathomable, unbelievable, and 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 just amazing. Okay, umasha kasev oy devar Hashem zu nevuah. The third thing there, the nevuah. What's that mean? I nevuah was going on a long time ago. He ne kvar sasem arambam zal bigeres teiman shazev vade mishakoyim magula tachsar nevuah liyisrael. That there's a the, the rambam says in bigeres teiman that before geula, before Mashiach comes, the nevuah will come back. There'll be there'll be neviim among the Jewish people. V'chein kasev b'hilchoy sov. The Rambam, even in his halachas, he says Shamelach Hamashiach Yeh Navi God Lo Yoisim Mikol Nevim. That he says in the Hilchos Tshuva, Mashiach will be a Navi, and he'll be greater than all the other Nevim. Ad Karv the Moshe Rabbeinu Olav Shalom, almost as much as Moshe. V'zev Vada Yef Shaki Mal Yudei Ki Um Kol Atoyer B'Shleimus. And that can't happen in a situation when there's anything less than complete uh, fulfillment of the Torah. Yeah. And therefore, if you if you take that claw in your hand, that the the, the, the there'll be nevuah before um, Mashiach, then you can't make a mistake about the gula shel shaker. You can't think that in a, a, a state that that creates uh, this disrupt this destruction of the Torah and violation of the Torah. Yeah, but they but, argue there's so many yeshivas now there. That's the argument. There's so many yeshivas now. That's the argument. That the state gives money so many yeshivas. Oh, so the state gives money to them. All right, so that's the problem. They take the money. Yeah, right. They say my first shrine is bad. They say look at the good the state does. Don't look at the bad. Yep. But he can't look at a bad thing if it's still destructive. That's the problem. Vigam she'af bekisfei hanavim shebiyadenu. Now the Zionists take the words of the neviim. So that's one shot in nevuah. Nevuah means yeah. that it will be forgotten. That there's such a thing as nevuah before the case, and people will say no. It could happen through violators of the Torah. Yeah. Now the second shot is that after kisvei hanavim should be a day. They take the nevim that we do have, the you know the, the Tanakh, and heima oimrim shatim zarim shel shkarim muksavim. They take the navi and they say false explanations of it. La hafoich divrei elokim chaim, and they turn upside down the words of Hashem. So. Dvar Hashem Zunavu, that until now everybody knew what the Nevi'im meant. And now, in this generation, they're turning it upside down. And just like a few examples of this, everyone knows you know, Yechezkel Anavi has a Nevu about the dry bones going and coming back to life. Yeah. So the Zionists took it and they used it for Zionism. Right? Yeah. There's a cartoon even called Dry Bones that, uh-huh. that's based on that idea. Bibi Netanyahu once came and spoke and, and, and he, I think in uh, Auschwitz or some place like that and he said, oh, the dry bones are going to rise up and that's what the Medina is fulfilling that nevu of Yechezkel. Yeah, then there's another famous thing the Zionists do. Yechezkel has a, a, a whole bunch of a prokim about Goig and Magoig yeah. and in, in there it says, I think in Kapitel Lama Base it says that Goig and Magoig will come to a, uh, to a land Actually, it's in Lamed Ches. Yecheskel Lamed Ches. He says it will come to a land settled with Yidden who escaped from the sword, and on the mountains of Israel uh, that were destroyed, the, the the Jewish people will be living there, and then Goy Gomal will come, and then there's a Malbim on Yecheskel. The Malbim says that it will be Edom and Yishmael will come, and they'll fight against each other. Yeah. So they learn that. Okay, you see that the, the Israel, Israel will turn return to the land before Bais Hamashiach. Yeah. The only problem is that it never says anywhere that that will happen before Mashiach. Yeah. All those psukim are all talking about after Mashiach. Yeah. Because we know Mechemist Goig and Magog is going to happen after Mashiach. Mashiach. We get Mashiach himself, right. the Gula. You know, in, in Avodah Zahar, Daf Gimel and Beis, there's a Gemara about the, the Geirim Gurim. The people will come and they'll become Geirim Gurim. And the Gemara says, really, we're not Makabal them, but they come anyway because they Makabal and Geirim the Moist Mashiach. Yeah. And then afterwards, when they see Mechemist Goig and Magog, they'll, they'll run away. No, they're going to put on Tzitzis and Tfil and right. disguise as Jews. They'll put on Tzitzis and Tfil. And they'll ask, go on, get who we come, get Mashiach, and they'll throw it out. They'll, 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 they'll laugh at them. When they see Goig and Magog, they'll yeah. throw it out, right? So, but here they will still stay, stay to their so face. See from this. But the Goim, see, 
the Maharal says that, that the Goyim are going to just disguise. They won't do bris. They just put external things like just to fill in. But bris they won't do. Neither will they admit that the, I believe. They won't say I believe. Okay. They'll put just an, ex, an external cover up. Okay. But even if you learn that it means real gayer, but they'll, you see that the, the ain't makav and gayer mimoyse mashiach. Yeah, so it's a cover up there for. Talking about mimoyse yeah. mashiach. Another raya was from Sanhedrin in Daf Tzadik Dala. The Gemara says in Sanhedrin that bikes shakolish baruch hu lastois chizkiyo melacha mashiach v'sancheiv gog and magog. So if Chizkiyah was going to be Mashiach, then Sancheir would have been going to Magog. So yeah. obviously the two things are, are, are happen at the same time. It's not talking about before the Yisra Mashiach. Also, that another place... And in our time, we have all kinds of nonsense that we try to, through Bible calls, try to fill prophecies. This, I think, is the answer, too. Have you forgot the whole meaning of Nevoah, the whole point of Nevoah is? They take Nevoah and they use it for whatever they the want. The point yeah. of Nevoah is for Musr, is to improve a person. No, no, a prophecy will feel well. The people of the prophecy. Um, and also the Ramban, which is really Rebbeinu Ezra on Shir Shirim. Yeah. You know that's the famous thing the Zionists always try to quote. They says that the Goyim will help to bring back in Eretz Yisrael. The Rebbe discussed it in Simon Samach yeah, Chesed already. What do you say? And the Pshat is that that's also, also talking about Achar Bias Hamashiach. Yeah. And the Ramban even says there that there are going to be two stages in Gula. And that's what it says. A kabitz, a law of lenik batzav. I'll gather in the yidden after they were already gathered. The second stage, he says, will happen with the help of the of the goyim. Not the first stage. And besides, so Yisrael really Edom, we don't thing. even know who Yisrael Edom really are. Anyways, there's no way we can tell if the Arabs are really Yisrael or if the Europeans are really Edom. That we can't even tell. Yeah. Okay. Right there. V'loyro isi laharich lahati kol divrei hevleim. I didn't want to go and uh, just copy over all the the empty words that the Zionists say on Tanakh, there's no end to it. So even if I copy over the ones that, that are in, in my time, they're going to come more afterwards. And as we see, that's what happened. You see? Yeah, they keep finding even Bible codes and gematrias keep finding. Like you say, Edom was the United States, you know, 51 it refers to, to the 50 days in D.C. <laughs> All this happened in our generation because of the forgetting of what the real meaning of the Nevi'im is. If you look with, it, with a, an honest approach, look at the words of Nevi'im, you can't make such a bitter mistake. All the three things that Rabbi Shem Bar Yochai Counts over there. Now he's going like Lashitasa. He said that the whole Bryce is Rabshim Bainchai, not just the end of it where it says that the Torah won't be forgotten. The whole thing is Rabshim. Rabshim says three things. All three are one thing the halacha, the kates, and the nevuah. Because that just comes because they forgot the Torah. But rather he speaks out all three things. Elu, habeis tvarim haketz fe'anivua. Why does he speak out do, davka those two things? They're forgetting everything. The answer is lohidia shal yidei shalo yimtsu halacha brura. Because they don't find halacha brura, they don't have a way of paskin clearly. Kedash shal toira. So yagia hatois af b'dvar haketz fe'anivua. That will result in a mistake even in these two things, the ketz and the nivua, which is being doichik haketz, making the medina, and forgetting that what the real meaning of the nivua is. This is something that could not have been imagined in the previous generation. Even with your mind, you couldn't imagine it. But Chazal foresaw it because they looked into the words of the Nevi'im and they, they saw what we see with our own eyes today. Woe to this generation because this is seen this... Uh, come true. The only way to, to get out of this is to look back at the previous generations and what they wrote, the, the previous doyers uh, of Rabbanim before Zionism arose, and learn from them. Hagam that uh, even even that's not going to help for the Zionists because people who are under the influence of Zionism. Asher boy shich satoyer. They have the forgetting of the Torah. Rachman u'tzlon. Hey, ma'hapchim gam divrei rishonim. They're going to take even the rishonim's words and turn them upside down. V'tolim buki sriki gam bohem. They'll they'll say false stories about them too. Mashalayhoi. I heard the Gruff, for example, that he wanted to go there to Israel. He had a story claiming he was a Zionist. 
Yeah, and they made a whole safer that, that they say the Gra uh, taught to his Talmudim, they call it Torah. It's time real, though. Yeah. And just <coughs> a few other examples. They take people like Rabbi Huda Levi, the Kuzari, right? Yeah. So they say he was a Zionist because he wanted to go there to Israel all his life, and he went in the end of his life, and he wrote a poem, Libi Ba Mizrach. And Yaakov Shweki made a whole song out of it. Yeah. And he said, Eretz Chem the Toivah, Shalanu. And really, what did the Kuzari say? If you look in the Kuzari in Maimar Alf. Yeah, the king said, You're said, in exile against your will, but if you would kill these guys, you would. Oh, you've touched our shameful point. Right, but. If he only said, we were to take Gold of Shemaim, it wouldn't have been so long. Exactly. But we don't. Right. So <laughs> he held of, of, of bearing the yoke of God of Hashem Shemaim. He held of living in Israel. He didn't say making a state. Exactly. Living is not shy of making a state. Then you have, the, the, let's say, the Avnei Nezer. The Avnei Nezer, we saw already, it was wrote that immigration with permission is mutter, yeah. but he never said anything about a state. Again, no, he Zion has made a whole sheet out of that. They make a state, or, yeah, yeah. Or a Sameach allegedly wrote a letter. Even if he really wrote the letter, the letter says, Pachad HaShvuas is gone. Why does that mean? It means that to immigrate there, it's Israel. Under the Balfour Declaration, is mutter. It's all yeah. it means. It doesn't mean anything about a state. Of course. The Chafetz Chaim, they say, when he heard about the Balfour Declaration, he cried and he said, it's, a, it's, it's in Chafetz Chaim al Torah, Parshish Boy. He said uh, that Kal Yisrael is like a person who they owed money to and, and, he, and then the person went bankrupt and he accepted a tiny bit of the loan and they're, 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 they're happy about it, they shouldn't be happy, they're, they're, they still have the rest of the money coming to them uh-huh. and give up on it. And also he said it's, he's Oyeris for the Gula, but he's afraid that the, the friar will come and turn it upside down and ruin it. Anyway, he never said anything about a Medina. Yeah. All these things that they quote from the Chavetz Chaim don't say anything about a Medina. Yeah. And again, they make him into a Zionist. And the Briskarov, this is the most incredible one of all. The Briskarov was the biggest anti-Zionist. Yeah. And yet, <clears throat> it, we, we, we spoke about this a few months ago, Kufna and Vav. We were talking about yeah. Shevna and, and, and Chizkia. So the Briskarov said that Kesher Rishon made him in a minion, and the Medina is a dangerous thing. So the, really, it's, it's totally what the Frum Jews say. If they want it, it will happen, and it's bad. And here, people took it today, and they used it the exact opposite way. They said, here comes the, the secular Zionists want to give back land, and we don't want to give back land. If we give back land, it's, uh, that's going to make the, make the psak. The Kesha Shal Shal Meinim in the Minyan. So the Imam turned his words upside down. And then, um, while we're talking about the Briskarov, there's also this person out, out there on the internet, and his name is Reb Yitzchak Brand, apparently some kind of Rosh Hashiva, who speaks about Zionism, and he said an unbelievable thing. He took the Briskarov's own shita. Briskarov said, you know, that, uh, that uh, Yishai and Chizkiah, you know, story in the morning brachas, Chizkiah uh, wasn't going to have children, and, and that, that's why he was, yeah. uh, it was Nigzar to die. And so why didn't he have children? Because he saw that they would be Rishayim. So the Briskarov said that, you know, even when, when uh, according to the, what Chizkiah thought, that it was also to have children that were Rishayim, even though... The Nevuah told him that it would happen anyway, he still wasn't supposed to do it. So here too, you're not supposed to make a Medina because it's dangerous, even though for some reason there were Nevuahs, that people told the Briskar of their Nevuahs that uh, it's going to happen anyway. So this, this brand, he said like this. But you can't pass the Lachah from the Nevuah. Right, can't pass him from the That's the story of the Briskar of. So this Rabbi Brand went and turned it upside down. He said, you know the Ramban in Sefer Mitzvah says it's a Mitzvah to conquer Eretz Yisrael. Yeah. So even though it's, uh, we're waiting for Mashiach, so we're, we're, it's l'chayr, it's against Nevoah to make a Medina, but who cares? It's a mitzvah, we have to do it. We so the Shulchan Aruch did not pass him there's a mitzvah that they conquer as Israel. There is a section of mitzvahs, tooth bars, and never said we have to conquer it, or we live in it. Right. Well, we'll talk about that in, uh, in, in Maimur Beis, Mir Tzashem. Maimur Beis starts out with that Ramban. <coughs> anyway, but... Wait, that's the, the, the Zionists love that Ramban, because they think it affirms their idea of, of Zionism. Kitzer, okay, let's finish up. But, but the Chafetz Chaim and Seir Mitzvah and Kitzer did not read Yishu Barach as one of the 200 mitzvahs that are applicable to Zvanah and Zvanah Zah. That's a good point. Okay, so, Tolim Buki, Sriki, Gam, Bohem, they make false stories about the Gedolim of the past. Mashallah, Hayav, Eloi, Nivra, Kamoi, Sha'oimim, Gam, Perushim, Zarim, B'Psukim, and Maim, Mori, Chazal. Just like they take the Psukim and they turn them upside down. The Maim, Mori, Chazal. Uvishar, Sifran, Shil, Zadikim, all other Sifarim. But people who seek the truth, and they don't pay attention to the influences, <coughs> they really want to know what the Rishonim held. They could still tell where the footprints of the Rishonim are. 
And that's what the promise is that Rav Shem Baruchai says, Ki shach mi pizarai. It won't be forgotten to Mavur Le'el. Because there's always going to be a way to return it and restore it by looking at the Rishonim. The more Cotton says that uh, on the, the Pasuk Malachi, that if the Rav is similar to a Malach, learn Torah from him. <coughs> and if not, don't. Don't learn from him. So the Rav explains that this means What's Doim Malach? The Rishonim are, are like real Malachim. Even though today's generation is very far from being like on the level of the Rishonim. If a Rav is doima to the Rishonim, he's doima to a Malach, means he's similar in his words, he's similar to the Rishonim, Kemalachim, then learn from him. So, Yesh al Kalpanim, Yesh loy belimud hahu dimyum divrei Rishonim. He has in his teaching something like the Rishonim, Kemalachim. So the Havi Belimud Hazet Al Kaponim Doim El Malach Hashem Tzvakoi. So in, according to this Maimar Chazal, he's considered like a Malach. V'lachein Toyer Vakshmi Piu. Therefore, learn from him. V'imlav. But if he's not similar to Rishonim, if he's saying something the opposite of what the Rishonim say, Al Yivakshu Toyer Mi Piu. Then don't learn from him. Why? Shaloi Lipo BeHashpoi Sachadoshim. Because you don't want to fall into the, the new uh, influences. Shemikar of Bo. The new like recently invented influences. Loi Sa'arim Avuseihem. That were, that were not, not, not known to the previous doyres. Herachti ksas b'matzav doyreinu. I've gone on a, a little bit at length about this subject. Avol harba yoyster mimashik osav to yesh b'oinyan. There's a lot more to speak about here. El shi'i efshe lahavi akol al ksav. We can't speak out everything here because the Rebbe didn't want to insult particular individuals in his sefer. He didn't mention names. So he doesn't want to go into this, the, too much detail here. Gam loy uchal aharich kol kach. And I can't, uh, I don't have the space to go on too much. And therefore, Yishma Chacham V'yosif Lekach. You should learn it and understand it on your own and be moist on your own. Yeah. 